In this video tutorial I will show you 3 awesome movie effects that you can do in CapCut. The first one is color match. You know, when you see a movie and you really like the color grading of the movie, now CapCut makes it really easy for us with their color match feature and we can almost do it with one click. So drag your clip to the timeline, go up to adjustments and click on color match. Then you have to click on this plus icon and import the picture from which you would like to match the colors. I'm a big fan of Mad Max movie and I really like that warm sandy colors. When you click OK, the same colors will be transferred to your clip. Of course you can also adjust the strength of the colors and set other adjustments as well if you like. The second effect is called Silhouette Animation. Click on plus icon to drop the clip to the timeline. Click Ctrl plus C or Command plus C to copy the clip and Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste the clip. Go up to Cutout, click on Auto Cutout and wait for the process to end. Drag the playhead to the beginning and drag the picture above the clips. I found this cool picture of the rock arch and a beautiful pink sunset at pexels.com where you can find a ton of free pictures and royalty free videos. Stretch it to the whole length and drag the second cutout clip above the picture. With this clip highlighted, go up to basic and adjustments and drag the temperature, hue and saturation down. Turn the brightness and shadow all the way down. Now we just have to shrink the person and reposition it to match our arch on the picture. At the last effect today I'm going to show you how to do a scenery swap. With this editing we use different parts of backgrounds and object to swap the scenery and change the entire look of the video. As you see I have three parts for this case. The main video, the background with beautiful sky and mountains and an old wooden cottage. So let me add the main video to the timeline first. Because we want to change the mountains and the sky, we need to raise them. Go up to Cutout, click on Customize and choose Smart Brush. You can adjust the brush thickness if you need to. Now we will mark the part we wish to stay visible. So let us mark the bottom part like this. If you are not happy with the selected part, you can choose a Smart Erase Brush and adjust the parts you wish to disappear. When you are done, click apply. As you see, I'm using some of the Pro CapCut features which really makes the difference. Plus you can choose from more than million templates, 18 categories of royalty free materials and 100 gigabytes of cloud space which is synced through all your devices. Next, we need to pull down our replacement sky to the timeline. Stretch it to the whole length, go to basic, make it bigger and move it down. Go to cutout and choose customize again. Click on smart brush and mark the upper part you wish to apply to your video. And erase the parts you don't want in your video and click apply. Now we need to color grade the main video so we can blend it to our replacement sky. Highlight the main video and go to adjustments. 
we have to play around with the settings a little bit, so we get more darker look to match the replacement sky and because we want the night scene. We also have to make the adjustment to our replacement sky. For the last part, let us add this old wooden cottage to the scene. Stretch it to the whole clip and go to Video, Cutout and choose Customize again. Take the smart brush, adjust the thickness and paint the cottage. Correct the parts if you need to. and click apply. Then resize it and place it on the spot you like. Of course, we also need to make color adjustments to the cottage so it blends to our scene. Let us check our end product now. I hope you liked the video. I also left you a CapCut link in the description so you can subscribe and download the app for your mobile or PC. See you in the next one!